Hello, my name is Elizabeth Strogen, and I am the Executive Director of the Louisville Metro Housing Authority. Joining me is Camille Robinson, our Deputy Executive Director of Leased Housing. In LMHA's ongoing effort to increase transparency, rebuild trust, and strengthen our operations, we are here today to provide you with information about our Housing Choice Voucher Program, commonly known as Section 8. The Louisville Metro Housing Authority operates the largest Section 8 program in Kentucky. Our Section 8 team administers nearly 11,000 vouchers, demonstrating our significant impact on the community. With over 4,000 applicants on the waiting list, there's a clear demand for affordable housing options in our area. This highlights the importance of programs like Section 8 in meeting the housing needs of low-income families and individuals in Louisville. Access to affordable housing enables families to allocate more resources to education, health care, and job training, fostering economic mobility, and reducing poverty over the long term. Section 8 helps strengthen communities by promoting stability, economic growth, and diversity. It provides essential support to families in need while benefiting the broader local economy. Earlier this year, I wrote a letter to the Metro Council informing them that within my first two months as Executive Director, I became aware of serious issues in our Section 8 program that needed urgent attention. In recent years, LMHA's Section 8 team fell behind on required income recertification paperwork for voucher recipients. These recertifications are mandated by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, or HUD, every two years. Like other agencies, LMHA had to adjust our operations during the COVID-19 pandemic from in-person to a combination of online and mail systems. Our team also experienced significant staff vacancies. At one point, LMHA's housing specialist team, which is on the front lines of processing these recertifications, was over 50% vacant. These factors contributed to an accumulation of thousands of late recertifications. In instances where recertifications were performed late, outdated income information was used, and in some cases, information was inappropriately changed by staff in an attempt to hold voucher holders and landlords harmless until up-to-date and accurate information could be obtained and updated. The impacts of these issues have been significant and far-reaching. For some voucher recipients, it has meant long lines and wait times to get help from the Section 8 team. For some landlords, it has meant late payments and unclear communications. For LMHA staff, it has meant low morale and a near constant state of feeling overwhelmed. However, we are here and committed to doing better. It's important to note that incorrect processes were sometimes used to ensure residents could remain stably housed. LMHA acknowledges that we were out of compliance and immediately took action to rectify the situation. We first made immediate changes to our recertification process to address the most pressing compliance issues. Elizabeth hired me to oversee the Section 8 department, and we requested an audit of our Section 8 program policies, procedures, and practices to gain a full understanding of the areas where we were out of compliance. We recently received the final report from our outside auditors, and it confirmed what we suspected. Employee turnover contributed to a backlog of recertifications and instances of income manipulation to avoid changes in the tenant portion of rent. We also had inadequate training for staff and a lack of internal controls in the program. Meanwhile, we want to make it clear that there is no missing money. All funds have been accounted for. Our focus now is on fixing the program. We have already begun and will continue to work as hard and as quickly as we can to catch up come into compliance, and make sure nothing like this ever happens again. Here are the steps we are taking to get our program back on track. First, there is a new structure and a new leadership in place in LMHA Section 8 program to better serve our clients. Second, we are training all of our staff in Housing Choice Voucher Program from start to finish. Third, we are building better internal controls within our department and we are strengthening LMHA's compliance team to catch and correct errors. Fourth, we are better utilizing technology to streamline processes for our clients. Finally, we are laser focused on customer service so that our voucher holders and landlords have a true partner in our shared goal of providing safe, quality, affordable housing for Louisvillians. I want to thank you all for taking the time to hear our updates. And I want to thank our clients and our partners for their patience as we rebuild and refocus our efforts at LMHA. Thank you, Louisville.